Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I've got a really good video for you today. I'm going to show you some absolute storming gear that I've purchased in uh, some at car boot sales, some at charity shop, some over the door and i got one or two bits to show you in the shop just for you to have a quick look at. Stay tuned, I really hope you enjoy. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to start off, guys, uh, with something that came in over the door, and I absolutely love it. It's big and it's heavy. I have got an original, very early 20th century Cadbury's mirror. Um, by appointment to the late Queen Victoria. So could even be a late 19th century one it's certainly mercury glass um, the frame has got Cadbury's engraved at the top there I don't, know if you, I don't want to risk it's sitting Cadbury's engraved there and it's got Bourneville engraved down the bottom down here now it's a big mirror it's really heavy it's got a bit of distressing on there which I don't mind love the sign right in absolute stunning mirror on the back it's still got the wood panelling the original wood panelling so we're talking this is a really nice mirror now I give £80 for it this morning over the door in the shop and I tell you what I'm really really pleased I tell you what it weighs a ton to it certainly ain't going to be shipped off in the past at all force Okay guys, I've searched um, pretty much everywhere and there's none listed on eBay at all. Um, I can find quite a few Cadbury's mirrors on Google. The downside is they've all got sold on them. None of them are given the prices. And if you look at some of the conditions, they're really rough. From quite a few different variations, all available on Google and that. Um, again, the exact same number there, but there are absolutely tons and tons of different mirrors on uh, Google available or been sold, but nobody will give a price out. They're all um, basically saying that sold, so you can't see the price. Now, look at the condition of this. That is the same mirror as I got, only rough as hell. Look at the amount of missing back into the mirror and that. So, again, more mirrors. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to get somewhere around 140, 150 for a take away my costs. Um, it'll be a nice little earner in there. Moving on, um, I purchased this in a car boot sale in Cardiff uh, on the weekend. Now this is an inkwell. It's Millie Fiori as you can see and it's really good quality Millie Fiori now it's an inkwell it's got a little you see it here it's a little reservoir it's lost its stop but it needs a stopper um, really big snapped sharp pontal with tons of wear now here is what looks like a chip but it's not it's almost like the foot collapsed in the blow in it's just sunk uh, it's definitely not a chip it's just a flaw in the making. Now, I'm unsure whether this is 19th century or whether it's a Murano version. It's got more than enough weight to be 19th century and more than enough quality and weight. It really is very heavy. And if you look at them canes, absolutely stunning. So, this was a pound. Now I'm going to find a little clear globe stopper to go with it and that's probably going to be 75 to 100 pounds 
but we'll have a little look now see if i'm right or wrong it will make a difference whether it's a victorian one whether it's murano or whoever it is it could be strathern it could be anybody um but i'm thinking it's an old one purely from the amount of way and the massive pontle i would have thought if it had been murano they'd have finished it off really nice and if you look here i don't know if you can see it there is a bit of flux in the glass now that's something i normally see on georgian and victorian drinking glasses so all in all a beautiful inkwell absolutely stunning but let's have a little look see what they are online okay guys i've just had the shock of my life when looking at these now all right the stopper may have had millie fiori in the stopper to match in like this one has you this is a white fries example from the 70s uh you can see there the white fries paper label but a globe a clear global work just as well as this sort of mushroom stopper but look at the money on that i know i'm uh, stunned now this one here if you look they're asking 455 and they've got the clear globe and it looks absolutely fine so that's what i'm going to go for that look that's probably the correct look but that's what i'm going to end up with and there are a few varieties now there's one by you english 1900 stourbridge millie fiori paperweight inkwell which to be honest with you, you could describe as the one i've got no stopper 325 let's have a look i want to have a look at the canes and the foot now they've got a snapped pontle the same as me tons of way it's the canes i want to see i can't enlarge it can i yep to be honest with you mine looks better quality It could just be the photographs of crap but mine does look better quality canes than that so that's something i'm really interested in by there so that one shocked me with no stopper uh there it is again sorry um you got another nice one there 19th century with the target stopper but as you can see these are very desirable pieces really desirable all of them in the high money now if i come across to the soul listings guys this is i'm sold 245 there for a white friars version 350 for a white friars version 391 and then somebody sells one for 44 pound it just doesn't make sense but that's ebay for you 32 195 how can you justify 195 and then 32 some people they just don't care what they got obviously but either way for a pound i'm a really on a winner i think you'll agree that that one was what you call a super buy for a pound really happy my 75 pound expectation if i find a stop before it's going to be a lot higher now I'll probably going at probably 195 pounds and see what offers i get for the pound it doesn't matter if it sits here for two years till somebody buys it because if you turn a pound into 200 in two years you're doing well next piece i bought um privately at the car boot sale off somebody they brought it up to my stall i knew the lady and this is really nice um it's the burma star from the burma star association think that's what that means a to less oc i'm assuming association now i don't know a lot about it it's obviously military maybe out of an officer's mess or something now i know the burma star is a medal you were awarded so interesting there's not another anywhere on google or on ebay for me to show you any research so i'm gonna have to do research to find out exactly what it is and what it's worth i paid a fiver for it um now as a fiver it's a very safe bet i'm not going to lose money worst case scenario if it's just a decorative piece it's 20 pound 25 pound in the shop but we'll do some research and we'll find out what it is generally haven't got a foggiest idea but burma star we'll do some research and it's obviously got the cipher of george's sixth year so 
it's uh, quite an old piece and for a fiver I'm really really pleased um, yeah last piece before I show you something in the shop I bought in pieces a sterling silver mirror down the boot sale now we literally that needs to be tacked or glued back onto the frame but as you can see it's in relatively good condition it is solid silver or solid it's sterling silver there's the hallmarks now I've put it back together all this was all in pieces it, every single piece it could be a part was a part but it's now back to this and I just need to attach the uh, silver frame to the rest of the mount uh, I'll probably get a couple of little tacks or super glue it one or the other haven't decided yet but for two pounds best maraud for solid sterling silver picture frame um, that's not gonna be any trouble getting about 30 pound for that so really pleased with that now I bought a while back a really rare engraving plate for the Welsh uh, boxing championship association and it was very hard to display and the, the local photographer today came in and looked at it and he said oh, why don't you just take a photo of it in reverse now basically I was putting it into a bit of plasticine and trying to display it in a bit of plasticine have a look at what he done for me um, basically he took it away took a photograph or a scan of it inverted the scan so that you can now read it because with the plates they're reverse engraved and now they can they could theoretically frame it up with a picture of it next to it to show what it is so it's now a really saleable piece okay that's the early engraving plate I had and it's the Welsh Boxing Association now if you look here you can't read it it's all reversed but that's Welsh Boxing Association and that down here there were some boxes fighting and that really nice early plate now he took it away and he came back and produced this for me and it's basically a scan that's been inverted to show exactly what the engraving plate is or would produce there's the boxes la, fighting and basically he just took a photograph inverted it on photoshop and printed the photograph off for me so I've now got a really nice saleable item where we've gone from people not knowing what that is to seeing this and if you imagine them both framed up side by side in a boxing club that's going to look a million dollars I'm really really grateful um, that he done that for me that's really made that so much more saleable and if it doesn't sell I'll invest 40 or 50 pound in getting it framed up and looking beautiful with the photograph in with it and then I'll ask a lot more money um, but really pleased it was very nice of him he didn't charge me for doing it so I am grateful for that um, I think that's about it guys I can't think of anything else I'm gonna um, go up to Malvin hopefully on Monday if I do manage to get up there um, and you see me give me a shout and I'll uh, say hi maybe we'll get some photos I'm going to take a GoPro um, if I go and I'm gonna film until someone stops me and I'll make a video of an unedited feed of Malvin if it works. For now, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at the little bits and uh, pieces I bought again. I say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, I really would appreciate a like and a share, guys. Bye for now.